Huh? I'm just, you know. It's actually always you. You must make a compilation of this. Yes, well, every time. <laughs> I'm just going to. Please look at it. No, I'm just, you know. Because this, this, this thing is an awkward length. You know what I'm saying? So you wanna like bob it? Yeah. You know? Yeah, 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 yeah. You see, you see, instead of fighting, you must just help. I am Funam Jalla. I am Funam Jalla. I. Can't do that one. <laughs> <laughs> Uh. I don't trust a nigger. Can I trust a nigger? Hey, can I trust a nigger? I don't trust a nigger. <laughs> Real ass bitch. Give a fuck about, about a nigger. I don't know the words. Oh, I don't know. Let's let it go. Okay, we tried, guys. Sorry. Yeah. Show sure, gang, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, my name is Google It's Yantumba Juju And this is our capital <laughs> pod. Um, today I have Nana Akins and Gatla Homsama back on the couch with you guys. Hey guys. And so guys, I tweeted something just the other day. Um, yeah, like a week ago. And I basically was just saying like, I need to unpack my fear of dating because it's actually a real fear. No, no. I'm like, trembling in Yeah, fear. no, no, no. Like, I, yeah, I'm really scared about it. And someone said, you know, make a video about it. So yeah. this might not be a long one. Just to know why we're scared of dating and we're all single. <clears throat> Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, we're all single. We all have our reservations. Mm -hmm. um, I think I can say that we're not single because we haven't had suitors. Yeah. We're single just because we know what we want. Yeah. And like, guys, like being a, a, a city girl is cool, but like, it's also really hard. Guys, we love love. Don't ever we don't love ever love. get it twisted. We love love, hey? The three of us! Mm. <laughs> <laughs> no, we, no, we, mm -hmm. we're dying we for do. it and we love it. Um, but it's just knowing that like you can't accept everything that comes your way. Nice. So that's what keeps us lonely sometimes. Yeah, right? nice. We just we have to you know. Um, so yeah, what are your guys' fears? Dude, my biggest fear is trust. Like who like your <laughs> You know how thick and loaded trust is? Do you know saying mm. here's my heart, let me open up? Do you know how big that is? Yeah, do you know how, how do like, you do that? How hectic it is to allow yourself to oh, to love someone fully, how like do the I know? way you want to love someone yeah. without any yes. restrictions. Yeah. But yeah, like literally, mm. like I'm proud of you. Everyone's gonna know that you're with literally. me. It's us. I just think like you just never know someone's intentions. With yeah, you. someone's intentions with you. It's just like you can have one kind of idea, but they have another kind of idea, and like it's just yeah. like there's never. And I think it also leads into trust. There's never that. I don't know why, but people never just explicitly say that this is what I want, you know? Yeah. yeah. And it's kind of just like you go with this flow and like we're going yeah, with no, the no, flow no. and it's and like one river's leading no, here, the no. one's going no. south, you know? That's why for me it's so imperative. Like I, I've, I say to everyone I'm talking to, I'm like, oh, I don't want a relationship. Yeah. Not this year. Yeah. At the very least, like the next few months are for myself. But I think the reason it scares me is just because I'm so aware. Like the three of us have fallen in love. <laughs> And been in shambles. No, no, no. We've fallen in love, been in shambles, and we've also very much thought that that person was it's the one. <laughs> and our parents thought that person. Was no. the one. Let's not talk about that. Yes. And our parents thought that oh, like those that thing were was the one. really annoying. Eh? Yeah. So I think for me, it's just realizing that like guys, people are still very much attached to their exes. I don't know if people are truly willing to move on. Am I a placeholder? Guys, am I? Like, guys. Is it a real thing? Like have has that person properly healed from their past relationship, or are they gonna come here and project? The insecurities Please. and yeah. the past. like guys dating for me right now is so complex you have to really be a whole person mm. like you Please. really have would have needed to like work. go to therapy Please. go to therapy, go to therapy. Yes. sort of issues. Sure I'm not, issues i'm not your therapist i'm not your shrink no. i'm not whatever you want to call it i'm not the, no. the, the i'm not trying to do that like no when if i if we're going to talk about stuff i'm going to talk about our our relationship not yeah. what yes you know but also like i think that it's also important to note that when you do enter a new relationship i do think it's important to bring up things that you have Issues within the right. past, no, so issues that we can with. issue not an issue not I'm with. dealing with. So right it, now. Can, it can just be like this yeah. might be a trigger for me, babe. Like this yeah. is not an issue. I'm not projecting yeah. it onto you, but like let's be aware of these things. Or if you pick up a like, like babe, you do this. Like this was an issue for me in the past. Can we work? Can on we fixing work that? on that? Not uh, don't say all of a sudden my ex girlfriend used to do this as well. Yeah, yeah. and don't, you're angry at me. You're what? I don't know why you're quiet. But if you say my ex girlfriend used to do this, I was gonna be like, I'm gonna sorry. This is why I didn't like Jessica. Because Jessica, no. no. Where do we Why enter? are we still talking about Jessica? Also, guys, please, if you're not over someone, do not bring someone up into, into the, the mix. Don't, do that. don't do play with my time. Do don't really play with my underline. Do you guys remember the, what I told you this week? What yes. did we do this week? Like, 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 like,
you come big boy, big boy. Mm -hmm. And you know what kills me? I think yeah. that like we say this all the time as friends, like especially as Hans, like we don't necessarily throw. So we feel like niggas come fetch us. Why would you fetch Why you would that? you come? When you know that you're not over your ex, when you know that you're still seeing Spun Spun, like Yisele. why do that? You know what? And I think, Yisele. 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 I think I think that's really what no. really no. gets to me. It's just like I didn't come for you, you came for me. Literally. You came for me, you disturbed my, my peace. peace. My peace. You know, the, the, you know that, that guy? Which that one that has like a second girlfriend? Uh, What's that cat? You don't, you, you don't know this Oh, you're, that guy? Yeah. Yeah, that yo. Yeah, yeah. yeah yes. I wanted a second girlfriend. The thing is, guys, I didn't even like that guy in the beginning. I didn't like that guy. He yes. pursued me, pursued me. I said, ah, okay. Let me give you, let a, me let give you a chance. And then he just grew on me. Oh, Jiggy Jiggy, his entire other girlfriend. Hmm? Why? That's the worst thing when someone I grows on you. I think that's also what's so scary that I can really be chilling and a nigga can come fetch me in my peace and I yeah. can give you the chance because you've like approached me grand yeah. just for you to just like switch up. Like, <laughs> I, I already <laughs> think you are to do that to me. Also, you know what a big thing I think is that like I've picked up and naturally just like with me turning 23 in September, you know, like we've changed so much from yeah, the people yeah. that we used to be but what i don't like are people who aren't still humble about their past so yeah. as much as i'm a grand person now i think it's very important to acknowledge that in the past i may have said and done things that have hurt other people yeah. and if you always keep that at the back of your mind you'll always be humble yeah. do you know what i mean yeah. you must never act like you've never done that because yeah. now you're discrediting someone else's feelings yeah. and that's not it so it's about like making peace with your past realizing yeah. i won't do that but i yeah. did it and yeah. i hurt people and holding yourself to a new like standard i even now like dude like i don't know as much as we're allowed to constantly reinvent ourselves like on twitter people are just very much like this is who i am i've never you know and i that doesn't that's not yeah, being no. honest part of being self-aware is knowing where you come from Man. and the growth but also, that you made it's to also get to just about are. understanding that you grow every single day guys whether you want, every to, single whether you want day, to acknowledge yeah. it or, or not. not you as a person right now you are a compilation of your past and your experiences Absolutely. Absolutely. and the person you'll be in the future is a compilation of who you are now, now. now. so yeah. I mean, the fact that you want to come and say oh, I know I'm like this person like nah yeah, that's yeah not it's true. not it and I think that like yeah guys relationships <sighs> like really need honest conversations like they very mean. honest conversations you have to make your partner feel secure you I know don't. sometimes people may but want to but what is it about saying the truth hey what, what is, is it about, about getting it? that out there it's 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 the thing of feeling like what i may say may make me lose that person so i'm going to keep quiet to keep them but then guys you know do you know how selfish that is no but for me, no the friend it's, it is selfish no it's selfish is. but you know when people go into panic mode no yeah, but guys true. i feel like guys we don't all watch movies we go to the scene <laughs> where she has a chance to tell him the truth and then she, she lies. lies. Then we said, oh my god. Friend, babe. do you know what I think it is for me? I think now with this, like now, just knowing with what we know, I feel like we always hold each other accountable as friends. Right. Like now it's actually just like, mate, it's not funny. Yeah. Like if you're gonna do something weird, we chop about it. Let's talk about it's it. Like, guys, but I think that's why what it irks me, Nana, is when niggas, let me not even say niggas, when people our age still act like this. It's like, I almost know that you've been through certain things uh. that have like you've been here before, mm, yeah. but you still choose the to do the same thing, thing expecting, expecting a different result. Do you know a what different that result? Is? That's that's not that's gross. insanity. That is insanity, that is friend. Insanity. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Also, yeah. like, I think that we're very impressionable at this age, whether we like it or not. People are very concerned about who are you with, what are they doing, what do they bring. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I personally have a lot of anxiety about being public with someone because. I personally, I won't do that. Personally, I'm not doing that. <laughs> personally, you will see. Personally, you you won't see. Friend, anything. being public is not style. No, when I say public, no, I no, no. Mean, I used to be in a very public relationship, very open, same. very. Same. <laughs> it's like you, you, you all. My there. Instagram was a decoration. Yeah, and like I loved, I really oh. did love that. Like oh. I, I really it did. Cute. It was like when we were good. It's just like. We've flown each other. We both know that you know what, no one can. Yeah, I know. If I post you, no one can be like eyes or yeah, no, like mm. come to me as a woman, you know. But like that security, of yeah, the, yeah, I had that security. But yeah. like just as I get older, I just realize that I was, I value privacy. privacy. So and I just like the way people chop about other people's relationship on like the no. it's actually and it's actually ungrand. No, it's like, not people, gonna be pillow talk. People I'm think not. that they have the right to say whatever and whatever they want, whenever they want. And it's not it's the just... case, guys. It's actually not the case. Yeah, you no, know, people I... are disrespectful. So it's just like I'd rather keep that to myself. Yeah. yeah. And you know, when I get engaged or married, you see the pictures. There. So when you'd never like post your nigga even now. Like let's say you're with someone for a year. Not even. Also, let me actually, let me redefine this. When I say public, 
I don't even mean posting your partner. I think yeah. you're fully well within your rights. I think public in that, like, when we fight, it's taken to the TL. What? Like, oh, don't even try that with me. <laughs> <laughs> live tweeting yeah like live t- guys well, like, there's tweeting. nothing more cringe for me than couples well, no. that rock and why we're like why are you fighting there why are you fighting or you why s- would you tell everyone we're fighting well, not even not even tell when we're well, fighting you'd have subtweet me jesus christ wow. you're me to like also and then I, hate so I, hate so I, I hate when 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 then hands do this and you're talking about me it's also talking crazy about because me. Like, everyone knows that i'm your hand so what's up so you know exactly, everyone knows what's going on. So who are you being smart for, buddy? If you want me to lose my mind, so try You have my phone thing. number, you, oh, we're dating, see, I'm talking about it, please. No. Do but. you even see that, like, even having to be, like, somewhat responsible for someone else's feelings is so much for me right now. Like, I have a lot on my plate, bro. Do you see like, that? Friend, like, I'll, in corp, guys, imagine learning someone from scratch. Do you understand oh, that? Oh, oh, that's scratch I think thing. I think for me, it's just the maturity of things. Because I think, like, you may be, like emotionally ready for something and like if someone's just not on your level or like and you can't or make them oh, hard. Hard. mature enough You're to right. admit that to themselves you can't do anything you can't about do anything. that you, can't. you can try and you and get if the you, same outcome and then you try you're gonna drain yourself you will, you will, you drain, will yourself. drain yourself you're gonna try to prove something it's exhausting yeah, it's, it's exhausting like even like speaking to someone and like you, their whole entire like mood or tone changes. Just like the whole effort of now, I need to probe you to f- figure to out speak. what's wrong. What is wrong? I it's must keep, like it's like no, it's like yeah. no. no. I also think that like that's a big part. Like mm. I personally really, 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 really know what I want, and if it's not it, I'm not gonna do it. Yeah. Like, and then having to interact with people that I may feel like aren't mature or aren't there. Yeah. Like it's even a task in and of itself, and it's like, oh, I'm not. Do I want to do that though? Yeah. Like, do, like, I, do I, want I really to do want that? to do that though? Am yeah. I gonna do it? Like, why am I yeah. doing it? Like, I'm lonely, but am I really that lonely? Yeah. The thing is, with the with the right person for you, that work is worth it. Yes. I suppose. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. But when it's someone that you know, mm-mm, mm-mm, I'm not gonna waste my time on something I know is not gonna work. And yeah. If you're not for me, you're not for me. So, yeah. do's a lot. Anyways, guys, don't listen to us. Uh, if one of us finds someone, we'll fall in love and yeah, it's done. But at the moment, we're scared, <laughs> <laughs> and we'll we'll be gone. We'll, we'll be, be go- so gone. Yeah, we'll be so oh, gone. Me to tie our shoelaces very tight and very tight. <laughs> and so, I right, tuck them in. I'm so tired. <laughs> but right now, it's a sharp. We're yeah. good, we're chilling. But guys, yeah. thank you so much for watching this video. I will definitely have the girls back. Please make sure to like, share, subscribe. That is all from me. Bye, bye, bye guys.